Hey buddies, some nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In today's episode, we are working towards completing the pack. We have a couple of things that we have left to achieve, and we're either gonna get it all done this episode, or we got one more after this. We shall see. We shall see. All right, let's go. Some nuts guy, grab gaming by the nuts. We have our Aberration Soul Stone from earlier in the playthrough. I can't actually remember where we got this from, but it does mean that we can create our Aberrant Soul Cube to summon Asmodeus. And, you know, I honestly don't think there's really much more preparation that we need to do for either of these bosses. So if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm pretty sure we only need one more episode to uh, get these bosses cleared out and the game completed. You know, I'm trying to think of any other things that we should be doing in the meantime or preparation, but yeah, you know, I think I think it might just be time to just go straight for it. I don't I don't think we can drag this out any longer. I don't think there's any more dilly dallying that we can do. Apart from unless of course we completely screw up and die and need to redo our gear. I mean, to be honest, we actually we're not as anywhere near as strong as we could be. But, I mean, look how many enchants we have. My chest plate only has protection for and breaking and mending. Like, we don't have anything particularly special here. Um, it's all just vanilla enchants on our, on our gear, apart from the agility on the legs. We could definitely be a lot stronger. And I guess this kind of just goes to show, actually, how easy it can be if you know what you're doing. I mean, we are obviously going to be buffing ourselves up with all our burritos and... Whoa! I forgot wine. Steve, what kind of wine is that you're drinking? I can't see, hun. Sweet berry wine! <laughs> I, uh, I'll need to grab some wine. So what we'll do is we'll go find ourselves a spot somewhere that we can start to build our, uh, our arena. Uh, and then we will shoot back home real quick. And... Uh, what was I going to say? Shoot home real quick and grab the stuff and things that we forgot our wine <laughs> uh, funny <clears throat> hello mr blight honestly i don't really know why i'm bothering to kill blights and get their xp just need to grab a few pearls so we can get through the uh the old portals over here hello Really? You don't want to teleport? Rude, dude. I have to sit here and wait. All right, here we go. And we are off. So what I do is I actually grapple myself and just wait. There's been once or twice that I've had an RLcraft run really extended in how long it took to complete uh, because I got yeeted off the edge into the void. Yes, that is, that is no bueno. We want to avoid that. Honestly, we just put the arena up here. Now, I wonder if I can build it straight onto the obsidian because the pillars need to be obsidian. What we'll do, perhaps, is just grab ourselves a few extra random blocks. Uh, some some endstone here. Oh my god, we lagged back just slightly there. Am I, am I crazy or did we just lag back slightly? I thought I dropped myself over land. Hmm. And I actually advise um, building the arena uh, while you're mounted on the back of your flying mount, because that way, if uh, something that hits you with chaos, like the God, what are they even called? The f green flying guys. They're like, wow. It's not a very good voice impression. <laughs> but to be fair, their the noise they make is pretty hard to do an impression of. Um, God, what are they called? Argus. Argus, that's what they're called. If those guys fly over and uh, and knock you off your pillar, it can be quite, quite sad. Quite sad indeed. I think it's three obsidian, isn't it? Three obsidian. And, uh, and then diamonds atop. Diamonds atop. Diamonds. Okay, I got to mentally prepare for this because I actually haven't played... It's, uh, it's, it's after Christmas now, and a lot of my videos uh, I recorded prior to Christmas, and this is actually the first time I've played for, uh, for a little while. 
Um, so we might be a little rusty and jumping straight into this boss fight might not be the best of ideas. Um, yes, and we need to go grab our wine. So we're going to use this waystone. Waystone. And we're going to go home, burning up an absolutely insane amount of levels because we have 74 levels on us and we're spending three of them. Which really, if we put that down to three, like how many levels that is from zero to whatever the number is, it's, it's a lot of levels. It doesn't really matter too much, though. Um, okay, so wine. That's what we need. Flip every wine! Okay, the question is, is, have I got everything I need? Have I done anything properly? I can't break blocks, so might as well move that out of my inventory. Might as well just get the things in here that I will need. All right, I am a little nervous. Last time... Oh, yeah, let's get this as all. Well. Last time we did this, which was on stream not too long ago, uh, <laughs> it ended up being quite... Oh, this is the one that I was talking about, Argus. So right now, if I wasn't connected and he, uh, and he hit me with one of those, it could very possibly... Well, it gives me instability and could send me off into the void. So that's exactly what I was talking about. Those guys, like, c cropping over. Basically, it happened to me once. It happened to me once where I created a... I was I was on there. I was on one of those right there. And I was, I was building the altar. And I got yeeted into the void by an Argus. Now, this was before I realized that. And you see I have my bound scrolls on the right side. This is for, like, panic teleports back home. But what I didn't realize was that if you're taking damage, you can't actually use these. And obviously, if you're in the void, you're taking a constant damage, constant damage ticks. So it didn't work, and I lost everything, and it was kind of really, really quite sad for that playthrough. Anyway, we're enough of that. Let's prep our battle burrito. Maybe I should have brought a couple of spares, but this guy doesn't have the ability like Ray Hovart does to remove your buffs. So should be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat our battle burrito. Then we're gonna drink a wine. This is a regular wine to increase the duration. A couple of those. Then we're gonna drink a wild, two wildberry wines to increase the level up to level three. And then we're gonna drink a couple more regular wines just to increase the duration there up a little bit longer. So we've got around seven or eight minutes of each of those buffs. Probably entirely unnecessary, but still, uh, you know, better safe than sorry, right? All right. So, Asmodeus Arena. Now, last time I did this, I was using the um, nunchucks, which are actually really not very good against bosses because of their um, temporary invulnerability. So I'm hoping that with a better weapon this time, it should be less stressful. Although, again, I don't have as many. Oh my god. Proving to be incorrect. Proving to be very incorrect. Oh, I don't know what to do. Well, that went horribly. Jesus Christ. Instantly got screwed on right there. What the hell, man? Oh. That's not good. That is really, really not good. Now, that's the exact same thing that happened to me last time as well. Um, bruh. Oh God. Was that, was the, was the rock or the creeper blighted? Cause whichever one was blighted, that changes things a little bit. The creeper's blighted. That's a big, big kaboom. And I do not want that on my base. Not that I want any creeper explosion on my base, of course, but I do kind of need to go out here. Huh. What you doing, buddy? You just chilling? Okay, who's the rock that was blighted? Okay, okay. Right, now we're in a bit of a sticky situation. I don't have a spare weapon. We have, we've created a few grave scrolls. 
We have wine and battle breeder. So the intention right now is to battle breedo buff, grave scroll, grab our loot, and potentially sc scroll out or just deal with the mobs. Now, I think part of what I realized is I don't have arc slash or sweeping strikes on my current weapon. And I think I got swarmed by the little mobs that was partially doing a lot of the damage. So normally, if I have obviously got sweeping strikes or arc slash, preferably, when I'm attacking the boss, attack, attack, attack on the boss, it's killing all the little mobs that are around me. So I can just focus on attacking the boss and then the little mobs just die to the AoEs. Because, I mean, honestly, instantly I was taking so much more damage than I was expecting. Okay, okay, we're back in, we're back in, we're back in, we're back in, we're back in. Okay, we're live, we're alive, nice. Oh, hello, you're alive, great, welcome to the world. All right, I need to pick up the rest of our gear here. Hopefully before Asmodeus gets aggroed or anything else does for that matter. Okay, let's get rid of some items here. Some crap, string, uh, what else is crap? Get rid of the food for now, empty bottles, end stone, that. I might be able to go right back into this, to be honest. Okay. Bobbles. Quick gear. Okay. Fortunately, we haven't aggroed that. Uh, boots, boots. Oh, oh, God. I thought he was jumping there. Uh, do I have the shield? Honk shield. Good. Windstone necklace. And ring. Perfect, so we're going to drink a couple more wines. Wildberry wines to increase the levels of the iron skin and diamond skin we just put on. Increase the duration slightly longer again. Sort out our inventory here. Put on our pants. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we should hopefully now... Hopefully, be able to pull this off. Kind of, kind of tempted to do it with arrows. Can I even? Oh, it's too powerful to be damaged from that range low. Yeah, I think. Oh, well, I got his attention now. So I can damage him like this. Oh, well, this is actually going to be a really much safer way for us to do this. You know, it's funny. I, I also realize you don't need to run in a melee like I do. It's just. I'm used to runs where I do end up getting advanced protection and all the all the crazy enchants, so you really can just run up, <laughs> and it probably makes for more invigorating content as well. Oh, he's jumping! Oh shit! All right, uh, let's stop being pussy and get into it. You know, I also wasn't making sure I was getting. Damaging because most of my life gaining stuff will only come from um, life right? So life stealing is my main and or only source of healing, um, or at least the main source of healing. I need to kill his protectors. So in phase two, these guys spawn and make the boss invincible. So I can't do any damage to the boss until I've cleared out these guys. All right, I want to clear these little mobs just in case they cause me issues in groups. Get this going here. Oh, my iron skin and diamond skin isn't leveled up. I don't know why. Let's drink a couple more wild berries. I oh, know. Let's drink the regular wine first. Increase the duration. Yeah. Oh, maybe I did it after I put on the rings. Huh. Anyway, I now have uh, a couple more minutes of all the buffs at level three and above again. All right. So got to take out these extra dudes. Oh, take damage. Take out these extra dudes here on the side. These ones giving him the, the immunities. Oh, what the hell? Where'd you come from, dude? Uh, I kind of don't want to attempt these. I, I mean, I'm kind of doing this in a really stupid way. But I think I think the scrappiness is going to make it more interesting to watch, to be honest. Oh my god, these guys. See, these guys. It's when these guys spawn a shitload of variants that the damage starts to really come in. Alright, now my head is hurt. My head is hurt. Thank you. 
Why don't I have strength buff? Hold up. I'm confused why I don't have the strength buff. Oh, hmm, a blighted one. Fortunately, they don't do melee damage, so blighting doesn't actually affect them in any way. Okay, so I'm confused why I don't have the strength buff. I don't feel like I have all the buffs I should, but you know, whatever. Here's what it is. Let's get our booty back in there. Come on. All right. Hey, big fella. Okay, he's jumping. doing good damage because that's what's going to heal me but the life oh my god he keeps spawning these guys i feel like he's spawning way more of these than he usually does but that's because the fight's lasting way longer than he does. all these little guys you see this is where you need sweeping strikes and arc slash man oh, fuck no. oh fuck no this is way more stressful than it should be Way more stressful than it should be. God, my head. I need to drink more wine, dude. Oh, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, I don't have rejuvenation active either. I'm a little confused at where all some, all my buffs have gone. I don't need more wine on me. I gotta finish this quick, otherwise it's gonna get worse, dude. Okay, I gotta take up that guy. I think I am gonna resort to range for a lot of us actually because i just i just don't have the buffs or gear to really do this super effectively with melee i'm running out of time dude on these buffs i mean iron skin and diamond skin's already pretty much gone okay okay smack 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 okay this is good doing good damage we got this we got this a little scrappy Ah! Nice, got his protectors up again. Here's one. Take him out, take him out, take, take him out. I think that's hitting the boss, isn't it? You have to reposition. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Diamond skin is no longer buffed. Oh, we're taking heavy damage, dude. Taking heavy damage. Oh, God. This is so funny. I actually kind of like doing this without good preparation and no P gear. It's way more fun. Normally the bosses, you just run in and just slap, 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 dead. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh God, he's summoning these dudes. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Come on, baby, come on, let's go. All righty, all right. Oh, God, we got him in the air. Woo! GG's. That was freaking scrappy as heck. Er, my gird. Er, my gird. Holy cow. Like, actually crazy. <laughs> How absurd that fight just was. Okay. But yeah, definitely, I, I gotta say, definitely more fun when you're underprepared because uh because yeah normally that's super easy that i have to say was not easy it was a little bit stressful but it, uh it was all more satisfying to be honest normally it's just like slap 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 dead never left full hearts you know, I actually think Asmodeus might be the hardest of all the bosses as well. In terms of mechanics, at least. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, the Blight's still here. Might as well grab that Blighted XP. Hey, man! You what the hell, dude? Is it oh, it's not daytime, is it? <laughs> I always forget whether it's daytime or nighttime. Oh, I always forget that I have a night vision and therefore... Can't really see when it's daytime or nighttime. Well, that certainly took longer than expected, given the fact that we had a almost disastrous mishap. However, we have a good amount of time here for an episode. It was quite, quite an engaging one, I thought. 
good way to good good one for showing you guys how you can recuperate your boss fights if it does go to all heck <laughs> and uh yeah man hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more consider subscribing and it's always great to see you guys in the comments hope you have an awesome rest of your day take care Thank you.